everyone and today we are going to be touching up this beautiful Persian mare here just a little history is I just bought her online as used so as you can tell she has lots of scratches on her so my goal is with her is to make her look brand new so the craft supplies I'm going to be using will be using acrylic paint I'm going to be using concrete gray jet black melted chocolate and calm paint so i'm going to be using different sizes of paint brushes a bowl of water and a paper towel to start off with her base coat is going to be concrete gray here so i'm just gently going to start by painting some gray on her here so i'm going to be right back as soon as this is all done and this pretty girl is almost done with her first base coat and now i've only painted on her body here and on her other side, I haven't done her head because that's where I have been holding her. So if you're liking how this pretty girl is looking, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and continue watching. So I'm going to let her dry and then we're going to continue on her face. Now this pretty girl has been drying for a little while. So now we're going to go ahead and start painting on her neck and face. So I'm just going to start by very carefully just painting along her neck and for right now I'm just going to ignore her mane because I'm going to paint that a little later. So I'm also going against where her coat color is or her, how her coat goes. It's going along that just how her coat goes and then I'm just very carefully painting her. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and be now right Now her face is beautifully painted so my next plan is to mix cobble gray and jet black together to get a dark gray color and I'm just going to start by blending that up her legs and on her ears so I'm going to try to film it the best I can but we'll see how it goes so now I have about half of her painted so I'm going to try to show you guys how I have painted her so I'm going to be using my water here so what I'm doing is I'm tapping my brush into this tiniest bit of paint putting it in some water and then I'm tapping it on my paper towel and you want to get 90% of all that paint off you want it very watered down that's what I'm doing so very very watered down and now I'm just going to very start carefully just start blending it up her legs it's again going with how her coat is so very very carefully just blending it up her and then I'm going to eventually just keep adding and adding until it gets darker and darker and here on her other side you can tell how I left a beautiful spot for some shading so continue watching if you want to see how this beautiful girl after turns out. an eternity I finally think I have this pretty girl to her coat color stage where I am very happy with it so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint her forelock mane and tail and what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using melted chocolate for it and I'm also going to be using the tiniest bit of black and mainly just painting that along here and along her tail where there are some really dark streaks so I'm going to go ahead and do that all right and now I have half of her mane here painted and her forelock so the only color I've used is melted chocolate so far so here's her other side where you can still see some scratch marks all along here so I'm going to continue painting and then I'm going to add a black stripe along here and then just use my brush and kind of blend that in there so I'm going to go ahead and do that all right and now I have the other side of her mane and forelock done so I don't know if you can tell but there is some wet paint on the top of here just very slightly just some black I'm just going to very gently just start by blending that in very, very carefully and then kind of flicking that over to her other side. And I'm going to continue doing that until I think the black has made its way down. And then I'm also going to do this on her pretty little tail. Now her tail is beautifully painted. Once again, I have some black paint there. I'm just going to very carefully just start blending that into her original color. So now there's only a few more things we have to do on her. We have to paint her hooves, paint her muzzle, and give her some beautiful black eyes. And now I'm going to begin by painting her hooves. So the color I'm going to be using is melted chocolate with a little tiny bit of black. So. I'm just going to very carefully just paint her hoof. 
something like this. And now once I'm done painting your hooves, I'm going to go ahead and go get some gray. And then just very carefully paint a little gray on it. Like the little extra hairs that are over her hooves. Now this girl has some pretty new shiny hooves. Next thing I'm going to do is paint her muzzle with some calm pink. Start off here with her muzzle. I'm just going to very carefully just start tapping it on her muzzle here. That very cute little pink muzzle. And now I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into some water and start blending it around the rest of her and muzzle. And now her nose is all done. One more thing to paint. It's her eyes. So what I'm going to do is very carefully take a toothpick and dip it in some black paint. Very carefully put that in. And I'm continuing to tap in her eye until it's completely black. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So now this pretty girl has her beautiful black eyes. Now only two more things left to do. First thing is I'm going to take some matte sealant and paint it all over her so she doesn't get any more scratches. Now my beautiful mare here has been covered in sealant from muzzle to hoof. So now there's only one more thing left to do. Is I'm going to go ahead and add some clear fingernail polish to her eyes to just give them a little bit of sparkle because the matte finish doesn't make them as sparkly. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on her. Now my beautiful mare is all done. I finally thought of a name for her and it is Kit. If you love Kit just as much as I do, hit that subscribe button and like this video because there's going to be a total new series coming out on her and it's called Can We Rescue Her and she's the main star.